Well, good evening, kids. Welcome to Mr. Parker's Bedtime Stories. It is number 74 uh, that I have done, which I feel like ages since I did the last one. The first one, sorry. Uh, incredible long time ago. Um, but they've been great, haven't they? Uh, I've certainly kept enjoying them. And we are continuing our wonderful series of My Little Miss World by Roger Hargreaves uh, tonight as we continue. I don't know how many we've got left now. I think we've got 11, including tonight. So not many left now, but um, still a few good ones to go, hopefully. Again, some that I still haven't read myself ever yet. So they're new to me. Hope you've had a good day, whatever you've been up to, whether you've been doing schoolwork or other things outside and whatnot. Uh, it's not been the best weather, but... Uh, hopefully you've got outside and had some good fun and maybe done something with some family or friends. Now you can have a bit more contact, safely of course. So anyway, let's get on to tonight's story. And tonight it's someone who just loves life. It's Little Miss Fun. So let's find out why Little Miss Fun has so much fun. Little Miss Fun is as happy as a lark, except when she's organising a party. And then she's even happier than a lark. Little Miss Fun simply adores parties, and she likes to invite lots and lots of people to her parties. It's got nice handwriting. The other Sunday, there were a lot of people making their way to Little Miss Fun's house. Mr Funny was making funny faces, Mr Lazy was yawning, Mr Clumsy was falling over, and Mr Tall was walking in very small steps, so he would not arrive too early. Mr Forgetful was not with them. He was at home reading a book. He'd forgotten all about Little Miss Fun's party. Of course he had. Never mind, laughed Little Miss Fun. We can start the party without him. She put a record on the record player. Records? You guys won't even know what those are, will you? I don't either. I know what they are, but I never used one. The, we the record went round and round and the music played. Little Miss Fun asked Mr Clumsy to dance with her, and he accepted. Ooh! Unfortunately, he stood on her right foot. Never mind, she laughed. Must have hurt. Then she ran off to ask Mr Lazy to dance. Guess what Mr Lazy's doing? That's right, sleeping. Of course. Unfortunately, when he put his head on her shoulder, he fell asleep and almost flattened her. Never mind, she laughed. Poor her. <laughs> In less than an hour, Little Miss Fun had made everybody dance. The rumba and the samba, the rock and roll and the twist, the Charleston and the cha-cha-cha. And then she led everybody out into the garden and they danced all around the house. This sounds like an amazingly fun party. All the flowers in the garden were trampled. Never mind, said Little Miss Fun. Let's go back indoors. Let's play Simon Says, she cried. Simon Says, put your feet in the air. And how do you do that? Handstand. Or falling over. Can't tell. <laughs> There was a loud crash as Mr. Toll's foot smashed through the window pane and shattered it. Never mind, laughed Little Miss Fun. Don't know how she's managing to laugh when that's happened. And she jumped onto the table so she could pretend to be a clown and make her friends laugh. But nobody laughed. No wonder. Everybody was exhausted. They had all fallen asleep. Not just Mr Lazy. You seen her special nose she's got on as well. Never mind, laughed Little Miss Fun. And she carried on pretending to be a clown. Who was she doing it for now that everybody was asleep? Well, she was doing it for a little bird who had flown in through the broken window. But there's someone else she's doing it for, isn't there? Who do you think that might be? Why, you, of course, because you aren't asleep yet, but you will be soon. 
I hope you'll go to bed soon, not stay up too late. There's Little Miss Fun for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that that one. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the next of Mr Parker's bedtime stories. I hope you have a great evening uh, and a good day tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be nicer weather as well. That'd be good, wouldn't it? And I will see you guys tomorrow night. See you later, guys.